Hello everybody, mega goal number three and true for listening. Mega goal رقم ثلاثة المقدمة أربعة الاستماع. طبعا this is the curriculum for second secondary. منهج حق ثاني وثانوي عفوا. Now let's move on. As usual, Kalada, I'd like to start with my objectives, the ahdaf that I'm gonna accomplish by the end of the lesson. اللي راح أحققها بنهاية الدرس. The first objective, we have to listen to a conversation to answer the questions. نستمع لمحادثة وراح نجاوب برضو على الأسئلة. To role play a similar conversation, محاكاة إلى للمحادثة الموجودة عندنا. Also, we have to answer some questions about yourselves. بنجاوب على بعض الأسئلة عن عن نفسك. The fourth objective, we will give warning uh, or advice sentences. بنعطي جمل في صيغة التحذير أو صيغة النصيحة. Alright. Now, as for the first task, we have a conversation here. عندنا محادثة. First, I'd like to ask you, what do you see in this picture? شتشوفون. Okay. What are they doing? It seems that they are studying or they are working on something. شلي قاعدين يسوونا. Mhm. يبدو لي أنهم جالسين يذاكرون أو يشتغلون على شيء. Okay. Where do you think they are? Hmm. وين تتوقعون أهم? Hmm. I think they might be at a class or in a class. ممكن يكونون في فصل. Okay. Now let's move on. Right now, we will listen to a conversation, and we want to focus on answering these questions. رح نسمع إلى محادثة ونبغى نجاوب على هالأسئلة. The first one: What is the relationship between the speakers? Are they friends, brothers, others? شو العلاقة بين the speakers? أصدقاء, إخوان, others. Okay. Number two: How do you know? Yeah, if you think that they are friends or brothers, how do you know? كيف تعرف ذلك? Number three, listen and practice the conversation in pairs. This is you will be doing by yourself with a partner. راح تسمع المحادثة وراح تتدرب عليها. Right now, I'm gonna play the recording. I'd like you to listen carefully to the conversation between Omar and Imad, and then afterwards we will answer the questions. Okay, راح تستمعون إلى محادثة استمعوا ركزوا معي عشان بعدين بنناقشها وبرضو بنجاوب على الأسئلة. Page five, four, listening. Listen to the conversation and answer the questions. One, what is the relationship between the speakers? Are they friends, brothers, other? Two, how do you know? Three. Listen and practice the conversation in pairs. You better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious trouble. Yes, I know. They feel all dry and puffy. Have you been sleeping well? As well as possible. I've been staying up trying to finish my project and spending a lot of time in front of the computer. Do you take breaks? You need to take a break every hour. I'd never get to the end of it that way. Well, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. But I'm young. Older people tend to have back problems. You're wrong there. People can cause themselves damage at any age. What has saved you so far is the fact that you work out and do sports. Yes, my parents have said the same thing. So we're back. It seems that Imad is working on something on a project, probably, and he has been uh, sitting in front of the computer for hours. هو يعني قاعد يشتغل على يا مشروع أو شيء. Okay, so وكان جالس قدام الكمبيوتر لفترات طويلة. So Umar is advising, advising him and warning him about the consequences of his attitude. يعني إيش اللي راح يترتب على تصرفاته. Okay. Uh, 
So he's advising him to have his eye checked, okay, in Nishayakalayuna, because he might be get into serious troubles because of the okay. And Imaz is saying, yes, I know. They feel dry and puffy. Shakinhum intifakh ubardu jaffi, okay. Omar is asking if Imad have been sleeping, okay. So he's saying, have you been sleeping? Hel tenam bima fi kifaya or sleeping well. Uh, as well as possible I've been staying up trying to finish my project and spending a lot of time in front of the computer so okay do you take breaks you need to take a break every hour I'd uh, never get to the end of it that way. Uh, okay. I'd never get to the end of it uh, that way. Well, you won't have uh, the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. Okay. Another reason for taking breaks is to prevent damage to your back from endless hours of sitting at your desk. طبعا هو عمر is advising and also warning يعني قاعد ينصح وبرضه يحذر عماد of the consequences of not taking break لما ما ياخذ لما ما ياخذ فترات راحة راح يترتب عليه عدة أشياء طبعا راح يتضرر نظرة and also his back okay so but I'm young older people tend to have back problems you're wrong there People can cause themselves damage at any age. What has saved you so far is the fact that you work out and do sports. Yes, my parents have said the same thing. He won't get any back uh, problems. Yes, Omar is saying that he's absolutely wrong. صغار ممكن يتعرضون لهذا الشيء بسبب جلوسهم لفترات طويلة بس انه عماد is uh, an athlete يعني رياضي so uh, he's, he works out يعني يعني يسوي تمارين ف in this case that's what have that what have saved him so far هذا اللي uh, انقده uh, that was has saved him so far اللي انقده من getting any back problems مشاكل في الظهر Okay, so I have explained to you the conversation between Omar and Imad. Now let's go back to the questions. So from the conversation, what do you think of the relationship between Omar and Imad? Are they friends, brothers, others? Well, in my op own opinion, they might be friends, but it seems that Omar is older than Imad. And how do you know that and why is that? Because Omar is the one who's advising and warning Imad. Shakla Akbar because he's more experienced and Okay. Uh, also, they might be an, an instructor and a student. at the university fil jama. Mm, okay, because uh, again, from the way, uh, from the conversation, we could tell that Omar is advising and warning Imad all the time. Okay, طبعا من المحادثة ممكن إن واضح إن عمر قاعد ينصح ويحذر عماد طول الوقت عن uh, عاقلة أفعاله. Okay, so we have uh, covered this part. Now you have to listen and practice to the conversation in pairs. تدربون عليها بأنفسكم. Let's move on to the new words, okay? Dry and puffy. Okay, when he said that his eyes dry and puffy means jaf wa muntafakh. Dry and puffy. Eyesight, al-basar. Prevent, okay? Prevent, yahul dawn aw yamna. Damage, zarar. Damage, zarar. Now to the next part of our objectives, which is warning ad advice. Okay, you've seen a couple of expressions in the conversation. 
in the form of warning or advice يعني شفتوا جزء في المحادثة بشكل تحذير ونصيحة so warning means تحذير advice معناها نصيحة okay I'm gonna flash to you the conversation again أنا راح أوريكم المحادثة مرة ثانية I've highlighted these uh, sentences حاولت إني أسوي highlight على الجمل هذه okay You'd better have your eyes checked if you don't want to get into serious troubles. Okay. Second one, you won't have the eyesight you need to get to the end of it if you don't have breaks. لو تلاحظوا إنها جمل شرطية. If you don't do this, this is what will happen. The consequence. طبعا in a form بطريقة warning or advice تحذير أو نصيحة. Let's move on. So right now I'm going to explain to you how to formulate sentences in the form of warning or advice. كيف تكونون جمل بيش على شكل تحذير أو نصيحة. طبعا you have to memorize them by heart and practice them. تحفظونهم وبرضو تحاولون تدبرون عليها. The first one, you'd better if you don't want to get serious troubles. Okay, I'll give you an example here. You'd better wear a mask if you don't want to get COVID-19. Okay, من أفضل لك إنك تلبس ماسك. Okay, if you don't want to get COVID-19. إذا ما تبغى يعني إنك تصاب ب COVID-19. Okay, another example or another way to formulate warning or advice sentences. طريقة أخرى. You'll do a better job. Okay, or you'll have a better if you خلاص you want if you don't let's see you want to get the full mark if you don't study ما راح تحصل على الدرجة الكاملة إذا ما ذاكرت another exam another way to formulate warning or advice sentences you need to or else hmm عليك or You need to work out or else you will gain weight. خلاص عليك انك يعني تتدرب exercise or work out or else you will gain weight. راح تكتسب وزن زيادة. Now there are a couple of discussion questions about yourself. بعض الأسئلة عن عنك أو عن نفسك يعني مفروض انه when I speak I'm gonna speak using Uh, the first person and the su the pronoun the subject pronoun first person I okay so let's discuss these questions the first question how many hours a day do you spend studying your exam okay how many hours كم ساعة فترة الامتحانات عادة تذاكر what is the maximum hour الحد الأعلى what is the minimum hours الحد الأقل so you would say I usually spend, for example, I usually spend three hours studying during exams. Probably, it's correct. The next question, how do you feel at the end of an examination period? Okay, how do you feel? This is to express your own feeling. Hmm? I feel, I usually feel happy at the end of the exam period عادةً أحس بالسعادة في نهاية الامتحانات or I usually feel exhausted after studying for long hours بعد ما عندي أمضيت ساعات طويلة في المذاكرة عادةً أحس بالتعب so you can practice answering these sentences by your these questions by yourself ممكن الواحد يتدرب على الإجابة مع نفسه or with a partner مع شخص آخر Now let's move on to the last two questions. السؤالين الأخيرين. Which of the statements below do you agree with and give reasons? So we have two statements and the next one is ten. Okay, and we have to say which one do we agree with. أي واحدة نتفق معها. And we have to say also. I'm sorry. We have to also justify our answer. لازم نبرر إجابتنا. يعني نعطي سبب. You'll do a better job if you stay up and work through the night. 
خلاص انها بتشت... يعني بتسوي شغل كويس او مثلا بتنجح او مثلا بيكون يعني بتكون على ما يرام او مثلا سوري يو ويل دو ا بيتر جوب راح يعني يكون كويس وضعك مثلا او شغلك راح يكون كويس اذا جلست طول الليل مثلا تشتغل وما نمت مثلا يو ويل دو ا بيتر جوب If you get some sleep and work in the morning, خلاص. طبعا راح تؤدي بشكل أفضل. هذا هذه الترجمة الصحيحة. If you get some sleep and work in the morning, إذا نمت بشكل كفاية واشتغلت في الصباح. So what do you think? Which statement is uh, which statement do you agree with? Well, in my own opinion, I agree with I agree. Sorry, with the second one. Okay, probably because I'm a morning person. You can learn the person who I think it's better if I get some sleep and work in the morning. Okay. Why? Because uh, in my own opinion, I think uh, you cannot function well if you don't sleep well. ممكن بتشتغل كويس إذا ما نمت كثير كفاية. Also, if you spend the whole night working and uh, working all night طول الليل. Probably you will feel very tired the next day. خلاص. ممكن لو قاعد تشتغل طول اليوم ما راح يكون شغلك كويس. Okay. Now the fourth question. What would you advise your friend to do not to do when preparing for exams? Hmm. Now you have to formulate sentences in a form of an advice. Advising your friend about how to prepare for exam. كيف يستعد للامتحان. So give yourself some time and think about this question and try to practice speaking about with someone else. يعني حاولوا انكم تدربون على speaking مع شخص آخر. Well, I'd advise my friend. ممكن أنصح صديقتي. I'll say you'll do a better job if you prepare ahead of the exams. اوكي راح تقدم بشكل افضل اذا انت جهزتي قبل بوقت مثلا للامتحان اوكي ريمبر ذير از نو رايت اند رونج انسر ما في اجابات صح وخطا اول انسرز ار اكسبتبل كل الاجابات مقبوله ناو وي هاف ريتش ذا اند اوف ذا ليسن وصلنا لنهايه الدرس ال ليف يو وذ ا كويز راح اترككم مع امتحان قصير You can write your answers in the comment section في قسم ال comment and I'll check it and I'll respond I'll reply to it يعني راح أجاوب عليها Your quiz is the quiz is make up warning or advice sentences in order not to be infected with COVID-19 خلاص أبغاكم تكونون جمال حتى لا تصابون بكوفيد 19 طبعا remember to use the same formation of the warning or advice sentences نفس الطريقة اللي طريقة صياغة الجمل اللي شرحتها لكم and that's it for this lesson I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe share your video share the video if you find it very useful how to check on the video And leave a comment below. Class, a trick will tell you. See you next time.